Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we are in Vegas right now in our hotel. I planned to film this video a few days before, which is the day we got here, but I got really sick. I'm still recovering from a cold. So I'm just going to do this video now. And this is a video of what we packed, Extreme Heat Edition. So right now in Vegas, in Fahrenheit, it gets to like 105 during the day, so it's really, really hot. It's kind of too hot for dogs, so we pack some things to make it more bearable for them. Of course, we don't take them for extended walks whatsoever. We just take them out for potty breaks, basically, and we try to uh, do more activities indoors. So this is just what we packed for Vegas and for LA. We'll be here for a couple of weeks, starting from Vegas. So let me just show you what we brought. No! Ricky, what did I say? Down! Good girl, stay here. So I just wanted to start off with food and treats. If you didn't know, Herky and Milton are raw fed, so what we did was we fed them right before we left, which was a really early morning flight, and then we just brought some dry food, uh, like some kibble for the day of. The kibble that we use is actually a dehydrator raw, so that's what we brought with us in the checked luggage just for the day that we land, and the day that we land, we tried to find a pet store that sells some frozen raw food, and by the time that it thaws, it brings you to the next day, so that's what we did for the food as far as treats I didn't bring anything so I just picked up um, this bag of treats this is um, just pure chicken it's dehydrated chicken if you know us then you know that we like some really simple ingredient treats we just like dehydrated chicken freeze-dried chicken freeze-dried beef and really just simple simple ingredient treats I just feel like there's no need for like all those extra fillers and ingredients and in treats so that's why we like to go for treats like this. So on the topic of food and drink and everything, we brought two different kind of uh, containers. This is our travel water bottle. So I usually bring this in a carry-on and I empty it. Uh, there's a misconception that you can't bring any fluids or anything on the plane, but if it's a container that's empty, you can bring it past security, you fill it up again. I try to limit their water intake on the plane, but if it's super necessary and you see that they're really dehydrated, then you do have water with them and you have a little bowl that is attached like this. When you get to destination, I have this little setup right here. You already know I love this. It's from um, Sleepy Pod. It has the water bowl and then two kind of smaller bowls for Herky and Milton to use it both. And what I like is that you can bring stuff on the go also if you stack it all up. So this is a must. All right, so if we open the luggage, First things first is towels because you know us, you know we're going to be at the beach and you know they're going to get dirty here so we've been cleaning them a lot too almost every day here so towels is a must. You never know uh, how dirty they're going to get and I always feel bad cleaning them with hotel towels because they're all white and then they get so dirty and stuff that it, it just gets them really soiled so I like to bring my own. You're sitting in your luggage. Okay, next is some grooming stuff, and I think I got pretty good at packing grooming. I tried to limit it since we're, we're only going to be here for three, uh, three, three weeks. I brought, of course, a toothbrush and toothpaste because, you know, it's important to keep their teeth clean. Um, I got a nail clipper just for, like, to keep their nails short and to prevent any accidents, and just a smoothing brush. I didn't bring the Furminator. I didn't bring, like, the slicker brush. Just... You know, living on the edge, just hoping that this one will be enough. Oh, and also for grooming, I did get, the, um, I did bring their ear cleaner just because we like to do this every week or twice a week because the long floppy ears need some grooming and also if um, we're going to go to the beach, their ears are going to get wet. So I want to prevent infections and keep them clean. And then although Hurricane Milton haven't had any diarrhea episodes in a really long time, I still like to bring it around just in case. This is the one we like to use. It's basically a diarrhea medication for children. You can get this just at the pharmacy. This is for Herky. There's also some probiotic powder here for diarrhea and some eye drops for Milton. Sometimes she gets like some weird stuff in her eye, but honestly, sometimes, I say sometimes, but it only happened once. So I just like to keep it just in case. And of course, we're going to be traveling by car, so it's really important to have seat belts. Um, so make sure that you have that for security. Even if you drive abroad or you drive at home, your dogs really need to be tied up in the car. So bring your seatbelt. We also brought a car tarp that's currently in our rental car because you want to keep that car clean. You never know if you're going to get hit by with some cleaning fees or anything. So you just want to be 
a good citizen and protect the car that you're renting. Still on the grooming thing, I did bring the Mud Buster. You know, I love this. For cleaning, I also have a shampoo somewhere and the paw soap. Uh, I really like this just to clean the paws. I feel like I waste less product, but also I brought some shampoo that you can put in here. If they get dirtier, then you can just use this to clean their paws. Uh, I've shown it before, but this is really easy to use. It looks really funny, but it works really well. I highly recommend this, and everything I mentioned today will be listed in the description box. So here's the shampoo I was mentioning. This is just a shampoo that I had at home. There's like not much left in it, but I like this format because it's smaller. Oh yes, and as far as treats, I didn't bring anything, but I did bring I did bring Milton's bully sticks. Perky also loves these, so it keeps them occupied for a really long time. I figured one bag of five 12 inch bully sticks would do for three weeks so i brought this okay and now onto the good stuff for the extreme heat part what we figured was that uh the pavement was going to be way too hot like right now it's probably like over 100 degrees outside and this morning when i i walked up it was already super hot and what we use is boots boots are essential and these are super easy to like carry because they're small and everything um these are the paws uh rubber boots this is a size small hurricane milton both uh, use this size and they're pretty easy to slip on and take off the girls don't seem to mind them much uh, and this is good for ice and snow melt for allergies for traction control for sand rashes for hot pavement so far so good I was afraid that these would kind of melt on the pavement but so far so good everything is fine as I mentioned I don't take them on extended walks I literally just walk them from the room all the way to the grass patch in the front and already there they seem to be very tired and then for the rest of the walk I sort of walk them <laughs> in the hotel and then we also got this we haven't used it yet but we came prepared these are ice vests and we we're super excited about this because um, we've had one in the past but I lost it so this is the new one this is a Herkes the size medium it's basically a material that stays cool so you have to moisten it it's wet right now then you put it on your dog and it like you can feel it it's cold get it wet again in order for it to stay cool so when it gets dry it's like really uh, hard and like um, like it changes material. It's basically dried up so you have to keep it wet and it keeps your dog cool So I love this. We have one for Herky and one for Milton uh, I'll show you what it looks like on Milton. I'm sorry about the focus. I'm trying to do this by myself All right, so this is Milton's so it has two velcros. It also has the elastic here so it can fit um, Dogs of a bigger range. So it's super easy to put on you basically just put their head in and then this strap goes under the belly strap the two velcros and there you go your dog is ready and cool as can be so we figured that uh, with this vest and with with the boots if we wanted to do like a little outing it would be okay but still just be careful when you live in like a super hot climate for your dog not to overheat especially cavaliers they tend to overheat and a lot of dogs with shorter snouts too be careful for that but as soon as it's over like in Celsius, I think it's 25 degrees Celsius, you really should avoid pavement because it's really hot and it can basically like burn off their paws. So we did the test and outside we just took off our flip-flops and we put our feet on the cement and it's literally burning hot. So if it's too hot for your bare feet, it is too hot for their paws. For the heat part, we also brought their canine sports sack just in case we need to go somewhere and that it's too hot or they can't walk or they're, if they're not allowed to go. We like to plop them in these uh, canine sports sack. We do have a coupon code for you to save some money on these so I'll be linking it in the link below. Uh, they both use the Air Plus format and yeah love these those are super practical also because you know that Milton she's sometimes like a lazy walker and when she doesn't want to walk anymore we just like to put her in the bag uh, it's not like to bother other people or anything but you know sometimes you're out I'm traveling I don't know where I'm gonna end up uh, if it's dog friendly or not so we just like to keep those around as far as entertainment we just brought one ball uh, for Milton and her kids to play they seem to like have fun with it in the hotel so yeah for toys you can just bring whatever your dog likes but just try to limit them of course we have some pajamas for them to sleep we brought these orange gi giraffe ones if you're interested in these we do still have some they're available on our boutique and they're also available in the monkey design there's a dinosaur there's a teddy bear they're all very cute and last but not least we do have some snoods these snoods they look really cute and they're also very useful because Herc and Milton they eat raw food so just for their ears and everything to stay clean I like to just plop this around their face like this it keeps the ears out of their food during the meal and then as soon as they're done you just take it off I think he looks so cute 
You look so cute. You look like a little bear. All right, so that was it for our packing video, Extreme Heat Edition. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. As I mentioned, everything that I talk about today will be in the description box below, so you can shop all those items that I mentioned. Please be careful when it's hot outside, and I uh, hope you have a great summer. Oh yes, just a reminder, if you're in California, we will be having a pop-up in the OC this coming Sunday, July 14th. It will be at Pet Wants OC South. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> it will be from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So be there if you're in the OC. We would love to see you. We'd love to say hi. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.